Hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, I want to go uh, with you over how can you create the best uh, user persona uh, using Poco AI plugin uh, for Figma and FigJam. Uh, so again, to state the, the obvious, uh, this is uh, something that you want to use in uh, just to name a few cases. For example, if there's no budget for research at all, or if there's, uh, for example, you want to get a broad idea about the uh, your persona before actually doing your user interview. So this is just to name a few cases where you want to use uh, an AI to create a proto persona. Okay. Uh, so just to assuming that you've uh, you've had your uh, kick off with the uh, stakeholders, you've already discussed and they have. Uh, giving you some uh, uh, background on the personas or the what they assume is the personas, and you want to, you know, get the take a deeper dive into that set persona. So you want to probably want to use tools like the uh, document chat if you have a PDF of your intake, your first intake with the client, uh, and you start to asking your PDF, okay, list the. Uh, audience, target audience, or the personas in uh, provided in that intake. Or it could, you can use also the design brief for the same purpose. So I've prepared uh, a persona here, okay, just to give you an idea of how that would look like. So for example, what we want to extract from the intake is actually uh, two things, okay? We want to extract the demographic, Okay, so basically the characteristics, uh, like what do they do, their age, uh, gender, uh, where do they live, because culture changes, uh, it, it has a lot of impact, uh, country where they live could impact the regulations, uh, so it's, it's important, and of course if you want to uh, add, uh, eliminate the uh, bias from the system, you could uh, specify the gender okay you can either uh, say it's a male or a female if you if you want to don't want to be specific you can just uh, use they okay so the first thing that we want to do is uh, extract the demographic and any attributes that are attached to that demographic like I'll give an example uh, here for example this is something that I've extracted from an intake where it says this is a 40 year old, 42 years old uh, male, okay, a marine biologist from San Francisco. Uh, he has a deep passion for ocean uh, conversation, conservation and often travels for research and conferences. He values eco friendly. So, as you can see, we could have stopped here and that, that would have been enough. But if we know more attributes about the persona, like he values eco-friendly and sustainable travel options, uh, prefers to stay at location close to the sea or in an area that is rich in marine uh, biodiversity. So again, this adds uh, more context to the demographic, making it easy for Coco to be very specific with the output, okay? So it's really important to, if you have access to any attributes to add it to the demographic. Next is the scenario, okay? Which is, you can frame it as how the persona is going to be interacting with the product or the service. Or you can frame it as, okay, what are, what is the problem that we are trying to solve, okay? And uh, how is, our persona going to interact or how do we assume our persona is going to be interacting with this uh, uh, solution. If we're not sure uh, if the solution is digital or, or outside of the digital solutions, then we don't have to be specific. We could just say solution, okay? If uh, we're unsure if it's a web, uh, or a mobile or whatever. Again, we can just say if we know it's for sure it's a digital solution, we can just uh, slap the label digital solution on it and it would be absolutely fine. And as we can see, uh, the output would understand, you know, and suggest uh, 
insights that could cover for this uh, unknown for you, okay? Again, in many cases, the client is, or the stakeholders don't know what type of solutions do we need to offer to uh, the user or the persona. So in that case, yeah, that's fine. We can just say it's a solution, okay? So in this case, the scenario is that he's looking for a digital tool uh, that helps in research and planning his trips, uh, focusing on eco-friendly travel options. Okay, so obviously, uh, from the information that we have, we're basically um, building a platform for booking and reservations. Okay, someone who's uh, booking their travel, maybe booking accommodations, uh, and so on. Okay, uh, the tool should assist in booking accommodations. Okay, travel uh, that aligns with sustainability values, handle payments uh, securely, and provide tips for preparing for the trip for for the for the trip uh, that are environmentally conscious. Okay, so it could be that this is one persona, not. All the personas that we have it could be that, yeah, we are building a platform for everyone to book, but there's specific personas. One of them is someone who is uh, environmentally conscious and they need to, we need to offer them that type of service, okay, or specific product that might add uh, like an extra value proposition to the whatever solution we're building, okay? So I basically copy uh, what I've prepared for the demographic here, okay? And I'll copy the uh, what I've prepared for the uh, uh, scenario. And if I just go ahead and click generate, give it a few minutes and it will start generating, okay? Uh, I've already uh, started generating and I have the results ready. Uh, what I can do just to clear, you know, especially if I'm uh, working on a, a workshop with the collaborators with me on the same project, so with the stakeholder, I could just hide Coco, collapse it like this, okay? Just put it on the side somewhere and focus on what I'm doing, okay? And as you can see, it did generate the persona, okay? Uh, what I like to do as well is prepare some star badges. You can create it, uh, let's say, I'll, I'll do it really quickly here, okay? Usually I, I just copy it from Fig Jam. And again, the reason for that is uh, if I'm reviewing uh, on my own before I go into, um, let's say, a workshop with the client, then it might help to highlight insights that I find uh, to be really interesting, okay? Uh, or if I need to validate, it could be that I'm using a question mark rather than a star, okay? So just preparing ahead of time for my workshop with the stakeholder. So I just prepare some stars on the side and I start going over uh, the insights, okay? So uh, again, I keep repeating this every workshop, many cases, um, you'll find that Coco would suggest insights that are what we call hidden insights. Why we, do we call it hidden? It's because the scenarios where we you cannot extract information from uh, from users. Let's say you're interviewing an internal user, and they know if they answered specific questions that would impact their position within the organization, for example. Uh, there's there's many cases like this, especially in fintech, for example, uh, and 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 it, the list goes on. So, uh, in many cases, Coco would bring you know insights to the light where you maybe if you're gonna be following with user interviews, you wanna try to get the users to answer those questions, or if you want to validate with the stakeholders. Okay. So without going through everything, let me try and pick and choose some of the user goals. Starting with the first one, for example, here, uh, as, as we mentioned, that's an in, environmental conscious person. Of course, they want to find an eco-friendly travel option. 
uh, discover areas rich in marine biodiversity that was mentioned in the uh, demographic that that's his interest. So probably if we want to cater to that persona, yeah, that's one of the goals. How can we do that? Okay. Um, receive tips, uh, connect and so on and so forth. I don't want to go over it just for the sake of uh, the video. Uh, same for the needs. You'll find that it aligns well, again, with our persona. Uh, but I want to jump to um, maybe start with the tasks before going into the opportunities. So for that specific persona, one of the tasks is that they, they'll be doing the research, the due diligence, looking into travel eco-friendly travel options. Uh, browsing accommodations need to see again that's he's interested in marine life then probably he wants to he need to see um, uh, plan and research so uh, plan and research tips uh, trips okay so um, uh, do we want to cater to that again uh, so when I say broad uh, insights and that's how you at least at the stage uh, of the research, you want your insights to be broad because you want to take them and validate or you want to discuss with the stakeholder. You want you don't want to be 100% sure, okay? Because again, that's a discussion to be have and you want to widen the discussion so it's not that, okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure of the insight is a, a you know, open shut case, we don't need to pursue it further. Okay, so something like that, for example, I like it, for example, maybe it's not in the scope, project scope, I want to highlight it, okay, and bring it, bring the attention of the stakeholders that, oh, this is something that is important for, I'm assuming not just this persona, anyone who's doing booking or accommodation would like to have a planner, okay, that would help them uh, plan their trips. Uh, then blah blah blah. It's, it's fine. We can win. We can skip the rest. But looking at the opportunities, okay. So in terms of opportunities, uh, those think of them as epics of features, okay. That Coco suggesting how would you solve that persona's problem, okay. Regardless of the category the solution would lie under, okay? So for example, uh, as a platform, there's an opportunity for you or for the stakeholders, obviously, to collaborate with other marine biologists uh, on research projects. Okay, so sorry, this is not the platform for, for them. The opportunity for them is that they can collaborate with other biologists. So can we offer them something to help them there? Could be a feature, okay, like matchmaking um, for them discovering new areas. So can, again, can we help them by suggesting new areas that they haven't visited, okay, specifically or especially if, let's say, um, the whole area or the area that they have identified as the, the place they want to go, assuming it's fully booked, for example. So to avoid, and I'm sure it, it's probably mentioned in the frustration that, yeah, maybe I want to target, uh, maybe I want to suggest, sorry, uh, uh, alternative new areas for them, okay, just to avoid, you know, uh, losing them as a customer. Um, and so on, it goes, it goes on and on and on. So uh, you'll find that, yeah, some are obvious, some are really that, you know, brings in or in reach the discussion with the stakeholders. Um, and of course, this is a step uh, where you either go and try and find more, uh, uh, take a deeper dive with interviews, uh, come back, try to enrich the outcome from the interviews with the outcomes from the AI research, okay? And the next step would for you would be uh, generating, you know, or trying to imagine the uh, the user journey using that set platform. And that would be the next video, hopefully soon. So we have a tool for user journey. So we will discover that tool next uh, workshop. 
So thank you, everyone. Uh, if you have a question, please drop it in uh, the comments below. Or uh, if you, you're viewing this video from, uh, from Coco, please email us, use the feedback uh, uh, form to send us any sort of feedback. Okay? Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.